we're going to be doing a hairstyle that we have seen floating around on Facebook and I've only seen it done on a mannequin so we are going to try it on her real hair to see how it turns out and I am going to get her hair damp before we start so that we don't have flyaways. Okay so as you can see I got her hair pretty wet and then I put in this first piece and all I did was just grab a section here from the side and pulled it back so I didn't grab any hair here on the front just on the sides and then I added a clear rubber band. So now I'm going to grab a small strand of hair underneath here and I am keeping these strands pretty small and then I'm going to lift up this first section that I put in and just stick my fingers right underneath there and grab this section and pull it up and over. And then I'm going to do the same thing on the other side you want to be sure as you're grabbing this piece that you don't take the hair that's coming right here because all it's going to do is pull it out. You want to grab a piece that's underneath. And then again, I'm just going to lift this up, reach underneath there and grab it and pull it up through. So you can kind of see why you're going to want to be working with damp hair. If you're not, it's probably going to pull all of this hair up underneath as you're trying to do this. So now I'm going to take these two pieces and join them together with another elastic and you want to keep this pretty loose. You don't want it right up where this first elastic is, you want it down a little bit. And then we're just going to do the same thing and just keep repeating it all the way down. So I'm grabbing another strand here from underneath and this time I'm going to bring it up underneath the second one that I put in. Same thing on the other side. And then again you'll want to put this next elastic in about an inch underneath the last one that you did. So you'll just want to continue with that same pattern all the way down to the bottom. I want to go. I'm going to take these last two pieces and just bring them around to the back and then tie everything together. Okay, so that is what the finished hairstyle looks like. If you want it more puffy, you can wait until it dries and then you can go along and kind of stretch these sides out to give it some volume. But that is the basic idea of how it's going to look. Okay.